Hey everybody, welcome back to the World RPG. Before we get right into some more grinding on our Bowmaster here, uh, I actually wanted to ask some of you guys a question. Uh, before the big wipe, before the change from uh, Frozen Throne over to Reforged, uh, I had a lot of other characters, but I changed computers and then they wiped everything through accounts because they changed it. Um, I think there was a way to save it, but I never figured it out. So I lost a lot of my characters. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. I played a lot of other classes. I played a lot of the Sword Enchanter, and I played Martial Artist, as well as uh, I played a little bit of Lancer, and I still have my Crusader. I did make a new one, but I played a lot of other characters, uh, a Blood as well. Uh and I want to remake those characters, but I was curious as to whether or not you guys want me to gear up those characters completely off camera and just make videos on raids and events when they're going on, or if you'd like to see the leveling process as well. I was also thinking maybe for the leveling process, like for my martial artist, something I'm going to do next, uh, I might stream that over on Twitch. Um, uh, but I'll see what you guys want. Let me know. Um, we can get into this now. We made a lot of progress in the last episode. We are in a solo lobby today because I just got a little bit of whatever grinding to do. Um, we've made some pretty good progress though. Set my hotkeys here. We got a lot of good drops. We got some good uh, demon lord kills. So we got some nice stuff from that. And we managed to do some of the frozen... Raid. What was that thing called? The Spider Cave Expedition. We got a couple decent kills on that. Uh, we'll probably try and do some of that as well. Now that we have decent gear, we got a couple Neptunos pieces. Uh, these could definitely do with some upgrades. We're really close to getting our uh, Mask of Blood upgrade. If we see here... To upgrade this into Death's Visage, we just need Ghostly Thread, which we can get for Mad Clown, which if you saw the last one, I hate fighting him. But Malachia Wraith also drops this. Um, and I don't know if Wallachia Wraith is referring to the Wallachia Monstrosity or the Blood Wraith. Honestly, I have no idea. I think both of them can drop it. I, I Maybe I'll need some correction, because this one says Blood Wraith, this one says Wallachia Monstrosity, this one says Wallachia Wraith, and I don't know what that means. Maybe it's another boss from the graveyards or something? I can't remember. Um, let's start with getting some crystals, why don't we? Um, we'll bring our bag up, find our pick real quick. We're close to getting the Dragon Bow upgraded here. We need uh, Dragon Bone to get this into the true Dragon Bow. And I don't really plan on going down this crafting path, but it's kind of just nice to have it. Um, uh, what we really want to be going down, well, what we want next is, let's see if I can, oh, there it was. Here, Icicle Bow. Upgrades into Icicle Storm. We need the Frost Spider Queen to drop the bow. We have everything else that we need. We're going to need a couple of these Frorists from the Spider Lord. Because um, this will craft into... Oh, we don't need more, actually. We just need the one. So once we get that bow, we can upgrade to Icicle Storm. This is going to be our main bow for a while, until we can get Everfrost Bane. Um... We're going to use Frostbane for now, because it's very good damage. Once we get... Um, uh, what am I thinking? Once we get our upgrade to our armor, which we're going to try and go get soon, we'll swap over to Icicle Storm, because Icicle Storm is going to have the auto-attack proc that we're looking for. Uh, but for now, Everfrost is going to be our main bow of choice. Um giving us the enhanced freezing arrow on consecutive shots. That's the big thing we're looking for. Uh, oh, we were looking for our pick here. 
Let's see if I can find it. Here it is. We do have uh, Scaris the Unholy Helm for upgrading to Grim Visage as well. So we need Evil Lava Spawn. We need a small piece of Wrath. So we'll try killing him. We have more than enough damage to kill him with our current setup now. So we'll just get away to mining. We got a lot of mining to do. I don't. I think we only need the blue ones here for the Mage Lord. I don't know if we'll need them for anything else. There we go. I'm game. I'm game. But we'll do that in a moment. For the duchy, we need a lot of these white stones. We need a lot of these because we are gonna do Demon Lord again if we can. We'll try. Okay. For the tree. Gladly. I'm game. For the tree. I'm game. We're a lot stronger than we were at the beginning of last episode, that's for sure. What is Nature's call? But we'll do Wings of Death. We don't really need that upgrade, but I do also kind of just want to try out all the optional builds. No one goes with the fire build everyone either does the everfrost bane the the soul build or they do the god bow build and i can give a little shout out to let's see here um merhaba over on the forum who did the bowmaster build that i'm following um definitely very helpful information Okay, so you grab that. That should be plenty. Let's go do uh, Duke of Wallachia. We still have six. Bloodstone. You can just forfeit. And then we'll go do Wings of Death. Actually, we could do... Um, start the Demonic Invasion and try that. I don't know if I can solo it, honestly, with my current gear, but why not give it a shot? Oh, it's six red stones, okay. I'm going to be recording a... I'm going to try and get two or three in tonight, because I'm going to be down for the count for a while, getting all my wisdom teeth out tomorrow morning, so no videos for a while. Perfect. Um, let's do... Let's see. I need to really clear up my inventory. Double check to see what things I actually need. Let's do Evil Lava Spawn here. And we are looking for Peace of Wrath. We got nothing. That is unfortunate. Oh. What 
Okay. We can farm up quite a few of these, so. Wouldn't mind upgrading this either. Need mithril, right? Which is going to drop from. Oh, we have a mithril from Mage Lord, actually. I should go upgrade this then. Is there trouble? Gladly. Making trade. Forgot that we got that. I think we got that in the last episode, actually. Okay, we'll go summon Wings of Death and kill him real quick. For the, tree. the bow we have is just such a huge damage increase that it's really spiked our power a lot. Gladly. I'm game. For the No drops, kinda hurts. Uh, we'll go back to Capital Prius here. We'll summon Jack here, and also, why not craft a pickaxe upgrade? We do have a wing upgrade. This one we need for this. Ah, that needs the mithril as well. Um, I'll actually craft this first. We don't need it just this second, because... Uh, it's 130 agility, 10 dodge, empowers the next attack with darkness. Oh, right. This is where the start of our combos are going to go with, just with the way the build works. We want to be attacking and then, um, flame nightmare, demon. Okay. We want to attack and then cast a spell and then attack and then cast a spell. We want to be cycling back and forth with that. So, we'll have to go do Mage Lord as well, try and get another Mithril for the pickaxe. Uh, yeah, we're going to need that. So, we'll do this because we're going to need more Orc Helcom as well. Not what we were looking for. We'll go do Mage Lord next. Oh, this wasn't the right way. Oh, we need redstones for that. How many do we have? Three? We're actually missing one. Okay, hold on. You need a lot more redstones than I remember. I'm getting it confused, because you used to need blue magic powder. But you need the redstones now. Not what we wanted. I don't think we need this armor either. 100 agility, the sacred armor, this is 120. Uh, does it... we definitely don't need the staff. We'll grab the armor for now. Let's go do a little bit more mining for redstones. Okay, that's four. We'll actually need ten of these total, so let's just get all ten while we're here. Because we'll need them for the Demon Lord invasion. Are we doing invasion? 
Waited for the tree. Our forces are under attack. Is there trouble? And if anyone was wondering why this is our bag here, if you missed some of the earlier episodes, I think it was actually the first episode. It's just a skin that we got from a boss. I believe it was the nature tree uh, that, uh, that dropped it, actually. Okay, that should be all ten. Let's go kill you again. Let's open for a nightmare run. We still need that piece of wrath, and then eventually we're gonna need to drop from flame nightmare. So for our wings of slayer, I think they're called. Armor again. We'll go do Mage Lord now. We're getting close to our level 100. That's nice. Take a quick look here. Is this craft into anything? Just the, the bloodstone plates. Weird. We did the, the boss summon. Ancient writings, which I think we're going to need eventually for something, I'm sure. I can check it. Um, the true unholy bow, or... Ah, that's what goes into Eternal Flame, okay. So not actually the bow we really care about, not for our endgame build anyways. We are going to want to do it eventually, just not yet. Because I want to try out all the options for weapons for this build. Very expensive, of course. So I'm going to go for the, the ones I, I need first, but... Obviously, kills are going much, much faster with our better gear. And you don't have to do everything solo. As you saw in the last episode, I, it, with a group of players who are already geared, you can get up to this point in like an hour uh, if you want to get rushed. Some people like that. I prefer to go a little slower, but uh, both totally seen as okay. There's nothing wrong with being rushed if that's the way you like to play. don't know if I needed another Count's Memento. We'll grab it. I'm mostly here for the masks, because I want to kill the uh, Wallachia monstrosity. I'm kind of curious, curious though, at how well I could solo the Mad Clown. So we might try that a little bit, see how it goes. I am still going to try and get Nightmare Rods. There we are. Are we being invaded? What is nature's call? Making sure. I'm game. Gladly. For the tree. Aim dead center. We can probably do Flame Nightmare on our own. But I'd rather wait to have a group for some of the harder fights. Okay. 
I'm dead. Yeah, I don't have enough move speed to get out of that. You want to be above the lava spawn, not below. Otherwise, you have to run all the way around. If you're up here, when it starts shooting out from the down here, you can just run down and then ignore the rest. But Okay, let's go finish him off quick. Oh, well, let's take care of this guy first. Oh, of course. I'll grab the scale just in case we need it. And I'll grab the helmet. I don't think we'll need it, but... Okay, that's the last one we're summoning now. I'll go finish this guy off. If we get a piece of wrath here, I'll be happy. Helm of Passion. Not what we were looking for. A fine drop, just not for this character. The Helm of Passion is used to... Um, craft into the Helm of Battle, which is a great helmet for a lot of characters. Uh, my Crusader uses the Helm of Battle right now. Hellflame. And we got the gun. Oh, bone. Again, it's not actually one of the ones we really need. Just one of the ones that I want. That is what we were looking for. Is there trouble? I don't know that we need anything else from him, actually. What is nature's call? So, the Orcalcum we needed for... If I remember correctly... Find it. Uh, so this crafts into the Death's Visage, and that crafts into Grim Visage. Hmm, it wasn't for any of these. Was it, it's not for our helmets, so what did we need it for? We needed another Orichalcum for something. I just don't remember what. Um, maybe it was a part of our bow upgrade path? I just know we need another Orichalcum for something. Okay, well... Let's clear up our inventory a little bit. Go to our storage. We have a couple random pieces lying around. Not things we really need. But dragon armor we can put away. Uh, what does this craft into? Archdevil's bow. Ah, this is for that upgrade path that we're not going for right now. Now, what about cobweb? Frozen cobweb. Okay, doesn't look like we need this for... Ah, we'll need it for Soul Taker. Okay. Soul Taker crafts into Soul Bane along with the Everfrost Bane that we'll be crafting. It'll be the other endgame bow that we're going for, which is Flame Nightmare, Skeleton King, Shadow Dragon. And we need the base bow from Rectus. Heartseeker we could start crafting, though. No, hold on. Uh, yeah, we can. Does Heartseeker crafts into Fellas the Bow, not a bow. Okay. We'll need everything eventually. 
I don't think we need this helmet either. Yeah, because this goes into Helm of Battle from the Helm of Passion, which goes into Halo of Judgment. And this is a, a very much so a, a tank one. And the auto attack damage here, this isn't actually a bad helmet. Halo of Judgment is something that Bowmasters can use. Uh, and it might be something that we want eventually, uh, because the auto attack damage here, if we're going for the uh, the god bow, tell us the god bow, uh, we want auto attack stuff. It's not ideal. I think the uh, Grim Visage still ends up being a better option, but bloody armor. Okay, we actually don't need that at all. Same with these dragon hearts. I don't know that we need these for anything. These go into the fairy wings. Those are int based. Ah, okay. So wings of the frost lord. Uh, uh, these are one that we may actually go for because of the skill damage and the water affinity. I was reading this somewhere. We might actually want this eventually. I'll hold on to one of these, but we don't need uh, the hearts for anything else. Crossbow of Requiem we want. The dragon scales I don't think we need. Maybe for the wings, eventually. We'll hold on to one. Um, dragon bow we don't need. We'll put that in storage. That's all good. What do we need the adamantium for, if anything? Arc Devil's Bow. Wanderer's Cape. Does that craft into... Oh, okay. Wings of the Phoenix. That's uh, strength tank stuff. Guardian Ring. True Blood Ring? Is that one of the ones I was looking for, maybe? It's an upgrade from the Ring of Blood that we have. I don't think it's one I really... Yeah, he'll receive. Not one I really care about. Mm. Frozen Heart. Those are wings. No, we actually don't care about the adamantium like at all. So I'll put that here. Um, and put this ring. Actually, I'm going to keep the ring here because I'm going to be swapping over to that ring uh, shortly. Cape of the Counts. We, do we just craft that? Or Calcum, we need it for something. What else do we need this for? It's used for a lot of stuff. The True Unholy Bow? No. Mm. Cape of the Count, anything else? Glasses, apparently. So we just needed it for Cape of the Count, which we have. Do we need this for... No, we actually don't need any more Orichalcum as far as I can tell. And if we do, we can farm it up. We don't need the extra Dragon Scale, we have another one here. Ancient Writings. Sorry, this might be boring some of you, but... Gotta manage the inventory. You only have so much to work with. No, this is all for... Um, all for stuff I don't really need. I don't think I need this one either. So I don't need the ancient writings. What I do need is another mithril. So...
candy bag, which is an accessory. Uh, it's HP. Are we being invaded? Now, this can get uh, tossed. I don't care about the extra scale. We, compared to this, this is 85 agility, attack speed, and skill damage. Whereas... 80 stats. Yeah. I think this crafts, it can be upgraded, right? Uh, with Hydra scale. Yeah, it's... A, it's... It's a weapon thing for merchants. Um, it can be upgraded to this for some better all stats. Which I could do, actually. And it's used for the jack icon. Don't really care. Okay. Then, I don't think we actually need anything else from Jack, but we might as well kill him for the XP. Let's go do Mage Lord. There we go. There's the mithril we wanted. I don't know if I need anything else from him, but what the hell. Let's go see how well we handle this. Solo. Oh, I don't have enough blues? I only have four blues, okay. Well, let's go get a few more blues. Let's go upgrade to the better pickaxe first. For the Abyssal pickaxe, we need Dark Matter, which we will get from the Demon Lord. Slightly faster mining. I don't think it's that big of a deal, but... Now that's six that we need for the Spider Lord invasion. But I think we need I think we need blue for the Angel Castle as well. I don't remember. I think it's another six blues, so I'm gonna grab these as well. Shouldn't take long. That was indeed my Discord notification, not yours, if that came through. Um, okay, we're looking to do... Oh, right, we're right there. My brain wanders and I get lost. Okay. We'll see how this goes. That yeah, doesn't look like it's going to be too bad. Level 
Okay. Perfect. Okay, that's okay. I am fine with that. It is this here that we need the drop from, though. The Spider Queen. We need Oaklang, her bow. Which, I got like four of these to drop when I was farming this on my Crusader. I was going for the defensive accessory that you can get from this fight. Um, the Everfrost Gauntlet. And, uh... I got like four of this bow to drop, so I just know that my luck is out and that I'm not going to get this to drop. I don't actually care about refighting um, this guy. I don't think he drops the bow. I think it's only the Frostbiter Queen that drops the bow. Ooh. Didn't dodge the AoE in time. Oh my god, what is the... The luck is insane on this character. I, that's that's the the let's play luck right there. Holy crap! <laughs> I don't know what the drop rate on this bow is, but that's it's not good. That's insane. Well, that made this go a lot faster than expected, huh? So we go ahead and we hit currently craftable icicle storm. Level requirement. I'm not even high enough level. Okay. Well, we have all the ingredients we need for that. Um, let's double check what else we need. So after we craft Icicle Storm, that's going to go into Everfrost Bane. So we have everything we need for this other than our Frozen Debris, which Death Fiend and Shadow Dragon, very hard fights. So we're not going to be getting this anytime soon. Um, and then Orb of Oblivion from Skeleton King. Much easier fight, but still very difficult. I can't solo it. Not even remotely close to being able to solo it. Um, so if we compare this, uh, Icicle Storm is nine, uh, 4950 with 490 agility compared to 4950 with less agility, but we get strength for that HP. Gives skill 5% skill damage, 7.5 water affinity. We get 2.5 less skill damage and no water af affinity. Um, and this has some other effect that I can't remember. We'll craft it as soon as we hit 100. Let's just, uh, yes, we need what? Uh, angel invasion and demon invasion next. I don't think we need any other drops right now. Uh, M Mad Clown. I, f I forgot, yeah. We needed that ghostly thread still. So we have the uh, green, red, white, and blue deposits here that I think just have, like, infinite. Um, I, don't, I don't remember. We'll go kill Golem quick, because... I think we'll eventually need his wings for crafting something or another. Nope, that's fine. We needed six white magic stones. I thought it was blue. Well, that's okay, because we can just go mine it right out fr the front door here. Oh, these ones you need the abyssal. Okay. Well, let's go to the duchy quick. And while we're here, we might as well 
go ahead and kill the duke. Bloody hell. I don't think that's used for anything, like crafting anything. No, it's not. We'll throw that on the ground. What is nature's call? Making trail. I'm game. Okay, let's go get some white stones. So we can do the angels I'm again. For the tree. Gladly, gladly. Making trail. For the tree. I'm game. Making trail. I'm Actually, I can't honestly remember what I need from the angels. I needed the helmet, but I don't know if I needed anything else. For the tree. Um, let's go try Mad Clown and see how that goes. Don't think it'll go very well, but what the heck. Ah, Wallachia Wraith. It's these things that can drop it. Alright. I imagine it's a super low drop. Okay. You are who we are here to fight. Yep. Hmm. Definitely not looking good. If we can kill him, it'll be a slow, boring process. Not something I'm looking forward to. But we need to do it to get the ghostly thread, so... I'll give it another shot, see how it goes. Might want to wait till 100, we'll have some more agility then. I am curious, though, if there's any more of the Wallachia Wraith enemies around here. No. Not ones that aren't near the boss. Okay. We want to go close. Whoop. Oh, we almost had it, but we got blocked by the trees. That's annoying. We can definitely get him, though. I'm just going to take some patience. I still can't believe we got that bow drop from the Frostbiter Queen so fast. That was kind of nutty. It was like the second kill. Um, Duchy of Wallachia. Hmm. 
Okay. Let's go give this another shot. See if we can get this to go any better. Okay, we got that one. Really, that's what we get after that fight. Intense, but we got it. So we do know that we can kill him. Uh, we'll do a blood race. I don't think it really matters. I don't think it's anything we need, but just for the XP, basically. Blood orb, int weapon, a good int weapon, especially for blood, the uh, the blood mage character. But why don't we go kill some more Wallachia wraiths? On the off chance that they give us what we're looking for. The drop chance for a ghostly thread from one of them is probably less than 1%, honestly. Okay, here he is. Ouch. Well, that's very annoying. They make that, like, impossible. really talk while I'm doing that. It takes a lot of concentration. It's an annoying boss to fight, that's for sure. Okay. We'll just keep going at it. It's not really any great spots to fight him. No really open areas where there's no trees.
game. Make you say it. Gladly. I'm game. And okay. Wasted a little bit of my alt there, which kind of sucks, but... Still hit me. Ghostly thread? Ugh. Ugh. Nope. Making say it. Gladly. Making say it. I'm Well, I don't have anyone else I really want to kill right now. We have the angel and demonic invasion, but I'm game. I'm game. I'll probably do those in this same game, but I'll cut for the episode after I'm done with uh, the mad clown here. Making say it. Gladly. Making say it. I'm game for the tree. For the tree. Yes. Have you been invaded? Ooh. Again, right in the middle of my alt. And then he kills me and heals. He does this at 50% HP. So that was on me for not paying attention to his HP and using my alt before I should have. And in, in case you didn't know, if you didn't watch the other episodes or just don't know in general, when I use my ultimate, it lets me spam my Q and my W, and right now my bow empowers my consecutive freezing shots. So when I ultimate, I want to be spamming my freezing shot over and over. Um, because it has the free elven stacks, basically it removes the cap of two and constantly regenerates them so that I can keep using the ability without putting it on cooldown. Which is useful, but not when he goes into a invulnerable phase in the fight. Also, we use the arrow rain that deals less damage there. That was not ideal. Hmm. Okay. Okay, 50% health. We can do this. I walk into it and die. God, god damn it. The trees here are actually really bad for that, so... The perspective really doesn't help this at all either, obviously. Being at an angle makes it quite hard. I, you can put the camera angle up to 90 degrees, I'm pretty sure. Um, if I check here, angle. Oh, you can't. Or will it, actually? Let me check that command again just real quick. Yeah, just angle 65. Yeah, or. So you can't do straight up and down, which is. I guess, like, ideal for that kind of thing, but it looks so weird. Um, I think I prefer to play around, like, 25. This is even a little higher, but actually maybe a little better. Let's try... Like, angle 30. Yeah, that seems okay. Um, 
you can change the distance of the camera as well. You have pretty good control over it. Positioning is really important for a lot of the tougher bosses in this game as well, so... Well, unfortunate. That keeps happening. Too much damage and then it goes into this phase. I need to get it past this phase and then use my alt B and burst him down. But I need to get past this phase for once. We don't need too many drops from this guy really. Just the just the ghostly thread right now. We might need something in the future, but Ideally, when we come back later, we'll be much stronger. Obviously, the instant death effects are still going to instantly kill us, but we'll be less worried about dying normally. And we'll deal damage a lot faster. Let's give this one more try. Well, this isn't going so well. I, I hate this mechanic, the Wheel of Death. I hate it. I hate it very much. We have more than enough damage to kill this guy. We just keep dying to that damn mechanic. Okay. Well, maybe I'll try killing him at the end of the next video a couple times. The next one, I'm going to go try Mana Ancient or Mana Beast. Um, see how killing him goes. And I'll do the Angelic and Demonic Invasions as well. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like and consider subscribing. And I'll see you all in the next episode.